Hello, my name is Jean Cropper from Paper and Pixel. This is a hands-on activity focusing on a specialized area of engineering. Students will learn math concepts, particularly geometry, fine motor skills, and visualizing in three dimensions. These skills are needed in many careers, from video game designer, builders, and architects. This is one STEM-based activity out of a set of 10 hands-on activities available as an online course to schools. Each activity has STEM content, that is science, technology, engineering, and maths. Okay, to start, download and print out the A4 template on the link below. One for each student. It can be in black and white or color. This is what the template looks like. Students will be making this into a medieval castle book. Here is the completed project. I will show you how to make this. There's a printed instruction sheet for those who want it. Students will need scissors, pen or pencil, and colored markers. When you print out the template, look at the printer's paper tray. Check that the guides are pressed against the stack of paper. It's important that the template is printed straight. This is a miniature castle made from one sheet of paper. Medieval stone castles were amazing feats of engineering, especially when you realize they didn't have steel cranes, forklift trucks, electric drills, or saws. Castles took many forms in different parts of the world. Here, we're focusing on English stone castles. Stone castles were built over a period of 900 years. The first castles were built of timber and earth. Then William the Conqueror and his Norman invaders came across the channel from France to England and built a whole series of stone castles between 1066 and 1087. Have a look at the background information sheet to learn more about castles. Okay, let's begin. We start with the template for the castle book. The tools needed are scissors, a pencil or pen, and colored markers. Start with a template flat with a blank side up. Fold the template in half long ways and match the corners. Hold the edges with one hand. Run a fingertip across to the center of the fold and crease the fold a couple times by running a fingernail up and down to each end, pressing hard. Open the template out flat, blank side up, Fold the template in half short ways and match the corners. Check the fold is aligned with the center of the doors. Hold the edges with one hand. Run a finger across to the center of the fold, the same as you did before. Crease the fold by running a fingernail up and down to each end, pressing hard. Fold the top of the template in half towards the fold match the corners. As before, crease the fold by running a fingernail up and down to each end, pressing hard. This is what the folds look like from the end. Flip the whole template over, fold the top of the template in half towards the fold, match the corners. As before, Crease the fold by running a fingernail up and down to each end, pressing hard. Hold the template with the center fold towards you. Open the scissors wide. Cut along the black lines, both above and below the castle doors. Make a cut along the center black line to just past the fold. Hold the template on either side of the cut. Pull the cut apart while rotating your thumbs away from each other. Open the scissors wide. Slide one blade of the scissors along between the castle doors to cut them apart. Be careful not to cut above or below the doors. If you do, you can tape it together. Place the castle on a desk, fold back the doors. 
Read the information sheet about castles. Draw on the castle, adding people or dragons feasting inside. Write a story about your castle using some of the facts on the blank panels. Then you're done. And the castle can be made large or small.